I mean, have you ever seen a black leprechaun? Beetlejuice. <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? What the hell is going on? <laughs> what color is a carrot? Carrot? I think it's a... Uh... I think it was, uh, I think it's a carrot, uh, carrot, but, uh, uh, I don't know about carrots, I don't know nothing about that. Hey, they say that I'm talking a whole lot of trash, I'm sitting there thinking like, who knew? I know that you've seen us on Rappers React, they're talking about us on YouTube, Hollywood 6, it look like I do magic, maybe he's practicing voodoo, I'm hearing you're getting a lot of attention, well I'm here to say that we do to deliver the rubbish. I'm What's going on everybody, we're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Diggity. Uh huh. Oh, I was getting tired. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what happened? Um, could be barrels of tequila. Ooh, okay. Could be barrels of beer. Uh huh. Barrels of vodka. Ooh, all right. Barrels of syrup. Ooh, that's dangerous. What else could it be barrels of? Oh, man. Barrels of Corona. Ooh, oh, you oh, had man, to say Oh, man, we can't it. say that. You had to say it. <laughs> uh, well, it's a beer. It, yes, it is. <laughs> What about barrels of whiskey? You got it, my friend. Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. Come directly from you right down in the comment section. And today, we have another suggestion God. from our comment section yes, yes. and i am like all out left field right now <clears throat> but this suggestion comes from back when we were covering all the uh, irish bands the man. rum jacks yeah the, the rum drop jacks murphys. dropkick murphys the flogging mollies flogging mollies man and i do love some irish punk music man you and i both irish punk irish rock whatever you want to call it irish I wonder if there's any like Irish metal, like just Ooh, straight metal, God. straight from Ireland. Y'all, let us know. Please <laughs> let us know. And I believe these guys here are actually also not directly from Ireland. They're in Germany, but they are an Irish band. Hmm. You know, we covered the Rum Jacks. They're Australian. Um, Dropkick Murphys are in Boston. You know, I believe Fog and Molly is also in Boston. You know, but just show, goes to show that irish music has infiltrated the entire world absolutely absolutely i mean the name of this band is called o'reilly and the patty hats o'reilly and the patty hats that sounds like it's almost derogatory oh uh, yeah it kind of <laughs> man this video right here is guaranteed to get we talk about certain types of beer yeah we, we might just get <laughs> no we're gonna keep it running yeah keep it going keep um, it going but the patty hats does kind of sound like a... It does. I mean, this day and age, you know. I mean, if you are Irish, it's okay, you know. And we're both half Irish here. So. You know, I was listening... Remember when Nate Diaz fought Conor McGregor? Uh-huh. The second time, Nate Diaz was like, you're a dang leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, is that a... That's considered derogatory? Is it? I mean, it could be, you know, by today's terms, everything is, you know, everything by PC culture. You know, you really just can't say anything pertaining to race or nationality anymore. But it, I mean, have you ever seen a black leprechaun? Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on right now? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I said, have you ever seen a black, black leprechaun? He says Beetlejuice. Is it not? That's just like saying, have you ever seen a new car? Spaghetti? What the heck? Is a, Beetlejuice look like a leprechaun, man. You talking about the guy you, you say? You know Beetlejuice. Oh, that Beetlejuice. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Dang it, Smokey. Hey, like, have you ever seen a black leprechaun? Orion's belt. Uh, I mean, what? What? 
<laughs> the Astronomicon. Yes. I don't. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen? A black, all right, have you ever seen a uh, an Asian <laughs> leprechaun? Um, Lake Loch Ness. Man, the name of the <laughs> this name of this song is called Barrels of Whiskey. Barrels of Whiskey. Yes. All right, let's straighten up here. Let's get our straight face on. See now, y'all, mm. and this is an honest question. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to incite anything, but I'm I'm keeping it real here. Mm-hmm. Is it derogatory to say that the Irish enjoy drinking? Is that derogatory to say? I wouldn't. I mean, most. I mean, like I said, we're both half Irish. Right. Your dad's Irish, my dad's Irish. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think it runs, you know, in the oh. family, you know, somewhat. But my dad drinks, but my grandma will drink my dad under the table. Oh, well, there you go. But and the reason they're I definitely s- in my family also. What I'm I'm saying because when we did the Rum Jacks, mm-hmm. their name is the Rum yeah. Jacks, and they were in a bar. Yeah. Flogging uh, Irish Molly. pub. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm interested to get in this so I can see what this is about. Mm-hmm. Small dog! What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it! Damn. Mm. She eyed. She eyed. She ain't mm-hmm. she eyed. Oh, she's pretty. She's smoking a blunt? <laughs> Bruh, she hitting the blunt. Damn, she got a... Damn, that was a whole blunt you just threw uh, away. Just threw it right out. Ooh, I love that sound. Yeah. It makes you want to slap your knee. <laughs> it does, man. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I love that sound. As I stepped out of my house, I saw this man named Clyde. He took me by the hand, saying, I'll take you for a ride. Okay. I said, I cannot go there, there are things to get done. Uh huh. said, boy, you must, because I ain't got a son. There's a little secret no one should know. Deep into the forest, we both gotta go. So I show you the way Gandalf. I earn my daily bread. But then not to reveal it, or you're gonna lose your head. I make barrels of whiskey and angel champagne. It's served in our process to keep away the pain. Yeah, I, I need more. <laughs> you, my <laughs> He's like, get out of here. <laughs> wow. I make barrels of whiskey and angel champagne. It's served in our process to keep away. Oh, he made that fire whiskey. Yeah, that's Mikey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could flow over that. See the soldiers at war on the battlefield. They've got more than a gun. My whiskey is their shield. Look at the crippled and wounded down the street. A passport to hell and a bottle to their feet. Don't leave a child or sweetheart behind This is a secret power, so boy, don't be blind I make barrels of whiskey and no champagne It's something in our process to keep away the pain okay. What I share with you, my lad Is the biggest secret I've ever heard I make barrels of whiskey and no champagne hey. It's something in our process to keep away the pain This isn't good enough! Spit it out! Oh! That garbage! What is this? Oh, it kicked him! Oh, I'll show him! I'll show him! <laughs> yeah. That boy got a mean whip up game! I gotta learn how to freaking. how to river dance! Yeah! I gotta learn it! Try this. Try this. Oh, is that that fire? Is that that fire? Is that that fire? Huh. You like that one, don't you? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm in Paris. Oh, got him. Tagged him. 
What is this crap? The boy ain't never gonna get right. <laughs> Oh no! He ain't gonna do it, is he? No, oh, he's gonna run away. No! Watch it be the best drink he ever had. Watch it be the. Oh, this that oh, fire. That was the best one he ever had. That was the last, last one he ever had. <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> 70! 74 class! <laughs> you gave me too much. Aww. He's like, no, that's the good dealer there. That's awesome. Yeah. Mikey! He's like, that old man ain't never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Barrels of whiskey, Barrels man. Barrels of whiskey. This ain't no champagne. It's something I process to keep away the pain. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Man, they must have been some prohibition at some point in time. In Ireland, you think? Yeah, From must Scotland? have been. You think? I don't know. M maybe. I'd have to look that up. Yeah, maybe that's where the stereotype comes from. Because if there was a prohibition, then maybe one... I don't know. Because then you would say there's a prohibition here in the South where there was... Oh, or there no was. I mean, throughout all of America in the like the twenties and thirties. Yeah, but did everyone once it became legal? Did everyone just go on a alcohol binging drink? Ah, uh, not necessarily. I said binging drink. <laughs> binge. <laughs> drink binge. <laughs> alcohol binge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say necessarily, but I do know during Prohibition they would have like speakeasies, like mm -hmm. these little dive bars that were hidden. Mm -hmm. You know, they would have their storefront. And, and like you know they sold sandwiches or whatever yeah, yeah. then you would go through the back room and there's a whole bar back there just hidden from everyone right. you know and see I, I was born in florence south carolina raised in atlanta and my grandmama used to i'm not snitching on grandma because it's it's past that <laughs> yeah exactly I'm, yeah but grandma had a shot house yeah. And on Sundays, she would buy, or Saturdays, Fridays, she'd buy beer and vodka and all these things. And on Sunday, you couldn't buy alcohol. Yeah. So she, bootleg. Exactly. She was the bootlegger. You'd come to her house and she would sell you a shot of whatever you want for a dollar. Yeah. I mean, we always ate good on Sundays. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> I don't know, but... It's crazy to see that, though, because the laws still haven't gone to just open alcohol at all times, you know? Yeah. We're getting there, you know? Nowadays, you can buy it on Sundays, but most of our lives, you couldn't even buy alcohol on Sundays. You know what I find interesting is you can buy alcohol online right now. Mm. Like, you can... like. We but can isn't there some kind of law against, you know, transportation from state to state? Yeah, but not only like that, that, what if, like, let's say we wanted to buy some Maynard's wine. Mm -hmm. A 12 year old could buy Maynard's wine. They don't check for ID when you buy online. Hmm. So, how does that work? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of agreement you have to sign. Yeah. yeah I mean, and a, I don't think a kid's going to care <laughs> about know, an I mean, agreement, but. Like, I don't know. I remember video games. Ask for your parents' permission. Yeah. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or back in the day when you have to buy CDs and yeah, uh, you go to the record store and they would have the uh, parental, parental advisory. advisory and your parents had to be there before they'd sell it to you. Have th has that ever happened to you? It did one time when I was a kid. One time. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the album? Uh, what was it? It might have been the Dog Father. Oh, was... Snoop Dogg. Yeah, it was. It was during that time period. One of those. I mean, most of the times they just sell it to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but uh, oh, you know what it was? It was the the uh, not the end, but uh, Mystic Styles three six. Yes, wow, mine was, was Mystic Styles. Yes, mine was Bone Thugs and Harmony. He turned on ninety nine. Uh huh. Yeah, they had to ask me for that. Man, I was gonna ask you a question about alcohol, dude, and I for forgot what I was gonna ask you. Dang it, um, freak, mm -hmm. um. You said, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, dang it. Um, okay, I know what I was going to say. Tell me what are your thoughts on this. Cops sitting outside of a bar 
on a Saturday night. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't know. I mean, there, there is a problem with drunk driving. Agreed. But you do know that most of those people go in there, drink, and drive. Agreed. Right after that. So, I mean, I guess it comes down to whether you believe that's entrapment or not. But, I mean, there, there's a problem with people getting drunk and wrecking, you know, and killing people even. So, yeah. I don't know. I mean. I mean, what do you, what's your stance on it? I mean. I it, think if they, well, it's to make money. If you want to look at it from this perspective, they do that just to make money. Because if they actually wanted to make the streets safer, they would give people breathalyzers before they got in their cars. Okay. You know, so they're really in it to make the money rather than just keeping the streets safe. I'm sure, you know, it, it does cut down on drunk driving wrecks in the end, mm-hmm. but they want to make their money on top of it, hmm. you know, rather than just making sure that every single driver is safe before they take off. Yeah. I, I mean, I've seen people leave the bar, pull out, and the cop follow them and pull them over in their yeah. DUI. Yeah. And that's, to me, yes, I get what you're saying. It's 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 a slippery slope mm-hmm. because you don't want people driving drunk, but then again, you don't want a cop just sitting outside. Like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, I say that, you know, the best way to keep the streets safe is you actually make sure they are safe before they get in the car but they don't want to do that they want to make sure it's after they've been on the road so you're saying give a breathalyzer before they get in the car yes but doesn't that take away your freedom doesn't that say hey I, who are who are you to give me a breath i've never been committed a crime it could but then they could also if you refuse it then they could pull you over right after that uh, i mean you got the right to refuse it you got the right to refuse it after that but most likely they're going to take you in and then force you to do it after you're incarcerated well, what they do there is they'll blood test you mm-hmm. i don't man i don't know yep um o'reilly and the patty hats that's good stuff man <laughs> that was dopeness that <laughs> yeah. was dopeness man it is I just like that how it just just <laughs> yes, just so, so Irish. <laughs> love it, man. It oh, cranks yeah. you up. It dude. does, man. In the and in the meantime, it's like I, I don't know why I'm equating everything to MMA, but I could see a, a, a English like an American fighter coming out to this song. Mm-hmm. But then you take an Irish fighter like Conor McGregor and he comes out to Wu Tang and Notorious <laughs> B.I.G. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know though. Would you want barrels of whiskey as your interest? Music? Dude, you know Dana White has the final say so on what which if you what you can come out on? Oh yeah. I was you knew that? Yeah. Wow. I mean, yeah, you don't want some coming out to Oh well. Uncle Luke. <laughs> you know, two live crew. Yeah. Well uh Derek Lewis, he's from uh Houston, yeah. and he came, when they fought in Houston, he came out to a screwed and chop song, oh, yeah. and the whole crowd was just jamming, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know if Dana would have said no to that, man. I'd have been like, come on, man. That's... I mean, I'm sure he wants to hear it first, just to make sure there's nothing completely off the rails in it, yeah. you know? Because, like, I mean, it, it is pay per view, so and the cuss words, you know, are probably going to get by, but you have to look at your business and your brand. Yeah, as exactly. A whole. You don't want to turn off the fans yeah, too exactly. with an entrance song, exactly. <laughs> Guys, if y'all got any more suggestions that me and Smoke Dog need to check out by these guys here, please, mm-hmm. please leave them in the comments. Definitely. With that being said, my name's Baron to Hollywood Six. Bye. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez Cowan. And we are over and out. Deuces. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.